I'm still waiting for screws for my DIY drummer CNC, so you have to wait a while for this video, but hopefully I will assemble it next week. In the meantime, I want to test my new milling bits on the T8 CNC machine and cut some wood. As an example, we'll cut this big end on this small T8 CNC machine and Fusion 360. <laughs> In the last video about DIY T8 CNC machine, I showed you how to engrave things with it. But engraving is not as cool as milling, so that's why I want to show you how to mill stuff with this machine. We'll use the same kind of wood, that's pine. And by the way, I get a lot of questions about this machine. And the most popular one is if this machine can mill aluminum. And my answer is, I don't know, I'm not an expert, I'm just a beginner with CNC machining. And it's hard for me to answer this question, so it may be a good idea to ask someone that has more experience than I have. But in my opinion, this machine cannot mill aluminum, it's just not rigid enough, it's not strong enough for that. But maybe I'm wrong. Here is my cut design. Height of this element is equal to the height of my piece of wood. All I did here was designing a sketch with N, simple N, just like this. Then I extrude both the base and N and I added few fillets on the bottom, on the top and here on the corners. Once your model is ready we can switch to the cam by using this menu. Let's click on the model and switch to cam view. You can add new setup by clicking on 3D and choose adaptive cleaning. Basically you just have to choose the right tool. As you can see I choose a tool with diameter of 3.17 mm. You have to also change the speed right here. Cutting feed rate, set it to 600 mm per minute or a little bit more. You can also modify the plunge feed rate and ramp feed rate. Basically, everything that has feed rate at the end, you can modify that and change the value according to your needs. In the geometry, we have to select the bottom of our model. Here is a very important setting. Maximum roughing step down. Set it to 2mm or maybe a little bit more. And here is fine step down. Fine step down means how deep our machine will mill on those fillets. I choose 0.1mm and you can get a pretty nice result out of this. But if you want a faster machining you should choose right there 0.2 or even more. And in the last tab there is really nothing we have to change. You can just go through settings and change if you need something. Let's click OK. As you can see it's calculating how to machine our object and now you can see toolpath. To see the simulation we have to click on the top simulate and turn on the stock. Now we can click on the play button and as you can see we can see simulation. You can slow it down or you can play it backwards. Let's close the simulation and now we can go to post process. Right there choose grbl, the folder where you want to save your thing and here is a program number. I already saved that so I will click cancel but you can click OK. And once you are done with this you can open GRBL, open your G-code and we are ready to mill. Of course remember about safety glasses because they are very important, you don't want to get any injuries while machining. Remember about safety glasses, that's very important. Except the T8 CNC machine will need a milling bit. It's important to use proper milling bits to cut wood efficiently. For example, that's an engraving bit, so it's impossible to mill with it. Here is a milling bit from Dremel tool, it's also not perfect for CNC machining. I tried to use this thing to cut plywood and I made a hole 
in a plywood for my instructable followers counter. But it was extremely hard and feed rate was super small, so it took 2 hours to drill a quite small hole in it. And here are milling beads that I will use in this video. Those are 3.175mm 4 flute milling beads. They work perfectly with wood. I made some tests to find the best values for feed rate and cutting depth. For me those values are 600mm per minute and 2mm deep. Those values can vary and you should find your own best values according to your machine and tool. <laughs> It's amazing how this began turns out. The fillets on the top and bottom are perfect and the surface below the end is super shiny. It's it's perfect also. And I didn't broke any bit and that's surprising. I thought that I will break at least few of them. But this bit is very strong and this machine is also very strong and it's very rigid which surprised me a lot. And you can even go with higher feed rate. I used 600 mm per minute. But you can go higher, just a little bit, but don't go over 1000 because that can be an overkill for this machine. I hope you enjoyed this video about meeting the big N on T8 CNC machine. If so, don't forget to leave thumbs up and ask questions in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to don't miss any of my new projects. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye! <laughs>